Hello. Hey everybody, Travel Dog here, and we are heading off to GBK, which I keep forgetting what it's now for. What's this now for? Gourmet Burger. Oh, Gourmet Burger King, or just Gourmet kitchen. Burger Kitchen. Okay, now I've never, never actually been. been to Gourmet Burger Kitchen. We need a restaurant. Here we go. Oh, we've never actually been in the restaurant, have we? No. No. Right, let's go and see what happens. Check it out, man. There's loads of people in there. We have looked at the menu. I think I'm just going to get the classic cheese to see their kind of basic burger. Nice, nice. You can I always like rate it well off that. Good plan. And you are going to have the Rocket Man. I'm going to have the Rocket Man, which I guess is like, it's like a spicy burger, basically, isn't it? Habanero jam. Habanero jam. Paprika onions. Oh, it's got paprika onions. Well, that sounds quite cool. Paprika and onions. with that, we are going to have... That's how many you can see. French fries with Cajun seasoning on the side. Oh, with our GBK Cajun seasoning. Mm. Nice. That sounds good. You can actually have a Beyond Meat burger. You can have a chicken burger. If I was going chicken, I would go Korean barbecue chicken. But it's such a good medium rare, medium well done, and well done. I mean, I'd say medium rare, but I thought yeah. you're not meant to have pink burgers. It depends. It's actually a really interesting thing. If they're actually chopped up, uh, uh, the, the danger is having mints and leaving it for ages, I think, before I'm no, regarded as an expert like on this. The, let's see, our patties right. are grass-fed uh, brisket and 30-day dry aged chargo with signature. One of the alarming things about this menu is the consistent information of weight. Yeah, oh yeah, to your milkshake, that is extra 240 calories. He did think initially that Gorgon's slowest slice itself is 776 calories, but I think he just realised that's the whole burger. My burger will be 838 calories, Rafe's will be 780 calories, chips will be 409 calories. Do you think I should get West Country cheddar or American style cheese? Oh, American style cheese. Huh? Yeah, I'd agree. They're also sh they're showing the World Cup. Oh, World Cup. They're showing it here in the shop. I can't see any televisions. No, can I? I like the weird use of Scrabble here. Do you like the place itself? Does it look nice? Yeah, that's it's pretty nice. cool, I think, doesn't it? It does actually look good, that Korean barbecue chicken boy. I actually just watched Ainsley Harriet cook a chicken burger like that on TV about half an hour ago. Shake has arrived. We'll film it so you can see okay. it. There we go. A lot in this shape. There is a lot in this shape. It's a really nice Ooh, kind of thickness. Nice thick. Baby, but it's well blended, you know, it's not solid. Yeah. It smells really nice. It's orange. It's good. Nice, nice. <laughs> It's quite a lot of thought to get into this, as usual. It's, it's, really, it's actually really nice and it's really flavourful and sugary. But I think the, it's like really like creamy. It has a big spray creamy kind of thing. A spray cream vibe to it? Not spray cream, but like cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really creamy, but then Oreo. It's Too really creamy? nice though. Too creamy? No. No, no, like in a good way. Do you not normally get that cream flavour in the option? It's slightly different to any I've had before. But it's definitely like, it's like I'd say a nine and a half out of ten. No, no, no. It's really good. Can I try? I think it's the Oreo. I think there's a lot of Oreo. I don't know what it is. I think normally there's not much Oreo in it. But I think it's a lot of Oreo. I think that's why the creaminess is there. I think it's the creaminess is from the Oreo. The good thing about the milkshake is something about this weird kind of creaminess means that it doesn't make you feel sick. Like I feel like I could drink all of this easily. I don't know if it's meant to have like an American style vibe. I suppose I've never said I've never actually been here before, but look, you've got these kind of like milk bottles for your water, which is kind of funky. Medium like rare flag. Felt well than I did it. Make a look at it. It actually looks really cool. Really nice little combo of stuff there. Right, let's try the Can chip. Can I try chip? Yep. Go for it. Gonna get some of the Cajun mm. seasoning. Mm. Mm. Cajun. Cajun seasoning, not bad. I've actually got a flavour of Cajun. Good crunch. Mm. Mm. Nice crunch. Very good chips. Really nice seasoning. Mm. Mm. Good crunch and everything. Really good crunch. Nice and thin as well, don't they? Mm. Nice thin chips. I'm gonna take out my medium rare sticker. And I wanna hack it open to see if it actually is medium rare. Is that a bit weird? No. I mean, a bit if, but I mean, it's okay. fine. Oh, look at that. That is actually quite beautiful. Look at that. Proper nice. Really juicy. Oh, look at that. Juicy, juicy, man. What, what's in it? Oh, look at it. Alice, look at what it. What can you see? What do you think? Uh, it's a jalapeno. It must be a jalapeno jam. Some kind of mayo. All right, I'll try it then. But, um, try it. Okay. Mm. Stop. Mm. Really good. Mm. No. Mm, really juicy. Mm, like juice, man. What's the best bit? The meat? Is it soft? No. The toasted bun? I think actually the best bit is just the meat. The meat is just really 
soft and tasty. Man, I could have done a double. Mm. Easy. But the meat. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. Why? The medium rare? I thought it makes it sugar. The medium rare makes it really, really nice. Alright, rating, and then we'll go into my bowl. Yeah, I wouldn't say 10 out of 10, but I said that. I mean, is this the best burger you, we've had One so of the best far, burgers I've like ever had. Filmed. I have, certainly. Would you, you say this you've is had good ones. better or worse than Smash? Yeah. Fat Twins. Oh, man. Fat Twins exist on a different level. I think this is the best, like, proper burger I've had. Fat yeah. Twins exist. It's a bit of a different kind Yeah, it's a different thing. This is like a proper burger. Fat Twins is like the best fast beef burger I've had. Ray for these, going for his. I'll guess I'll keep in the lettuce and onion. Yeah. Yeah. Here is the burger. Tomato's been removed. There's the burger. Looking good. Oh, look at that. In it goes. Really good flavour. Meat's really soft. My only issue is my bottom bun. Yeah. It was rather hard to bite through. Oh, is the bottom bun a bit hard? Mm. But it's good though. Is it super hard or? It's not that hard. Oh, it's a bit crispier, isn't it? What's my bun? My bun bun's softer. Mm. Mm. A nice onion moment there. Mm. Onion that's quite nice. The further I'm getting in, the juicier it's getting. It is actually really good. Yeah. It just looks bigger than mine. Really, the meat's really soft, so I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it an 8.75. 8.75? It's really good. Okay. But I feel like my bottle bun being so hard yeah, 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 has that's, lowered that's, it from a 9. That has lowered it, yeah. It seems like a weird complaint, but otherwise I feel like I just kind of bite right through it. No, I think it's totally fair if the bottom bun's too hard. Because that it's would also like, it. It's also weird, it's like my bottom bun's too hard and it's way colder than the top bun and stuff. Oh, really? It's kind of weird. Oh, the, the American cheese looks good. 8.75 is still a good score. I'm saying good. it's flat. I'd go mine higher. Yeah, we know. But uh, better than fat twins? More be you go to the This is dramatically better than McDonald's. Oh, God, yeah. So this is, this is definitely second that we've ever had. So fat twins. Fat twins is one. Really good, though. It is. I think this is... I think quality-wise, it, it, it's better than fat twins. In that it's, it's like a properly yeah, made fresh burger. Yeah, but fat twins are just so rare. weird and tasty. Fat twins is just weird and tasty. But I, I do like the medium rare. Because that's much more like, you know... You cook to order a decent burger, which you can't really get unless they've made it fresh. I really like it. Mm. Look at that. Cheese is really good. Cheese looks really good, actually. I might give it a nine, actually. It's going up to a nine. It's going up to a nine, everybody. It's going up to a nine. Look, the best bit about these burgers is the medium rare aspect. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm. Do you know, the further I've got in, mm. yeah, I've realised it's only been the edges that that hard. This middle's really oh, the middle's soft. soft. Mm. Nice. It's got crispy edges. Mm. But, um, but I tried Ray Fiddy's burger as well. I, mean, I have to say, I actually think this is better. Mine's got all those sort of jalapeno crazy flavours to it, but I think Ray Fiddy's is just a better, more straightforward it's burger. It's just, just a nicer, more straightforward. If the whole burger was as soft as the bite I just had, yeah. it would be a 9.5. Wow, baby, 9.5. That is a good burger. But How many nine? Yeah. I'll give it a 9.25, just because of the crispy in 9.25? Yeah. It's been upgraded a lot, good. but it's actually really good. Your burger seems bigger than mine. Where does it seem bigger? It probably is. I think it is bigger. I think you've got so much inside. Yeah. But still, yours seems... This seems bigger. And I think it is better. Actually, it's the cheese, the nice cheese you've got. That makes it better as well. And just, I think, the flavour. I can taste his burger more than in mine. So, we're pretty much finished. Actually, really full. So, I haven't even eaten the fries or the chips or whatever. And I feel so full. I feel really full. <laughs> Actually, it was amazingly good boat. Well, I would. I would definitely just go for that basic cheese burger. The, the, the rocket man. Here you've got a bit of jalapeno, this, that, and the other. Um, which is good, but anyway, I think it almost maybe spoiled the just basic burger flavour. I mean, it's a really burger, it just tasted so much nicer, just as a crisp, basic burger. So I reckon.
we just go for the basic, basic burgers, ribs. So this is our first time here. First time in the restaurant. You've had one as a takeaway, haven't you? Ages. Ages ago. And I've never ever been here before. Anyone? Look, there's still loads of chips. Actually, you don't need more than one portion of chips, do you? Inside a GBK, and yeah, enjoyed? Pretty good? Yeah, I think it was really good. Enjoyed it very much indeed. Um, rating? rating? With the milkshake and chips and everything, I'm giving it a 9.25. 9 9.2. I think 9.2 is a fair rating, I agree. I would go there for like a sort of properly cooked, sort of rare burger, which is hard to get. Um, but if you want a bit of mad fun, then just go to... Um, what, Fat Twins? Do you think? Yeah. Fat Twins, I agree. And I'll finish the same. Bye bye. Cheerio, everybody. See you soon. Bye bye.